are you guys doing? Pretty good. Right, how are you doing? Good. Well, it feels cold, and then you guys have like the cool lighting too, the, like the bluish Freeze. lighting. Uh, yeah. so. We're incredibly cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's the theme of this, so, so we don't wilt. this movie. It's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I'm trying to think of a quote for the movie, and I was thinking of using the word cool. Cool, 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 right? Cool it's like a cool family, yeah. cool characters. Yeah. In the words of Junior, cool 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 cool, 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 cool. What was the coolest thing that you thought was cool about the movie when you first read the script or were introduced to the characters? What I thought was cool is taking someone like a Nick Stoller with his live action background with comedies and sort of putting that, after reading a script, into the world of animated feature filmmaking, which of all the films I've made, they've all been great experiences, but I thought something a little bit new, a little bit fresh, somebody from that world would be great and invigorate our world of animated storytelling. Mm -hmm. I did like the modernism of this animated film. My favorite part was when the two wolves say, we're gonna raise her to be a strong and independent woman. <laughs> like, yes, it's like a modern take on animation, right? Yep, that's true. Oh, that, that's the nice thing about Key and Peele too, which was an improv line, by the way, during, when they were recording. Just super fun and funny, but right on it, right? We're gonna raise it to be a strong, you know, independent It's funny, woman. I don't know any women that aren't strong and independent. <laughs> and I never have. I mean, I, it's, still, it's still shocking to me that it, it's, it, that's a, a I've never known a woman that wasn't strong and independent. Mm -hmm. And you're, Especially you're, my kids. Right, you're <laughs> surrounded by so many women too. Yeah. So they're all yeah, No, shocking. they're really, it's just, my experience has always been that. As a parent, is this film just like all too relatable? Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, I mean, it's relatable in in some ways. I mean, uh, I I think I've, I think I'm in a better position now as a parent than I used to be. I mean, I've 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 tried it a few times, and this this round is I'm I'm a lot more available. Um, my my career isn't something I have to uh, think about or or carve out. It, it exists. I do this for a living. My kids are important to me, and so it's there's more of a balance than there's ever been before. So I'm actually pretty self-satisfied and smug. <laughs> do you ever remember having that moment where they came up to you and said, where do babies come from? If so, oh, what did you yeah, tell sure, them? Sure. What did and you tell them? You know, depending on how old they are, you tell them one thing. But mostly it's like, well, when two people really enjoy each other and, and they're in love, a, a, a child is a reflection of their love and a baby's always a blessing. So that's... So you never actually said the stark story? I think I forced the conversation on my son, knowing I was supposed to. Well, there's some things I have forced on them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, which didn't go so well, and he wasn't that curious anyway. No. And then my daughter, I think, started asking when she was like three. Girls right? are ahead of us. So then did you tell her the stork story, or did you actually explain to her? Or were you like, mom, you take it? You only need so much information at different ages. Right. So age-appropriate response, which is babies come from two people who love each other. Yeah. And then then you can go, so yeah, there's more to tell you, but you know what? Wait a few years and you'll get it. Right now, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's talk about Hunter. So my favorite part is when he says, bah, and then like drives on. <laughs> they they certainly do, it's in some very studio? interesting. I did do that, yes I did. I, I went on for quite some time. So do you actually like go on for a really long time, but they make it shorter, they cut it where they want? No, we, I think we I think pretty much like have an actual, different, different I think lengths. one of them is actually represented exactly the length it was, yeah. The uh, one with the uvula close up in it, and then, uh, <laughs> and then put pants yeah, back like, Wait, it's not working, let me do it again. <laughs> it's funny, because I, I, I worked with all the, the lighting, and look inside the mouth of Hunter, so I feel <laughs> like really close really to close. Kelsey. So like, yeah. I've seen inside your mouth, it's yes. not your real so mouth. Very deep, yeah. yeah, I've chosen the lighting very interesting in there. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs>